Okay, this is an example of how to measure the coefficient of friction on the inside of your sleeve. You can start with your base sleeve, and what you actually need to do is cut a section out. So what you want to do is cut off the edges. So you have two pieces. And you make sure to put the outside down. And I have a magnet here to hold it in place. And this came from like this. So what I want to do is cut a small section out that's about the size of the sled. Just make sure it's larger than the sled. What I mean by that is so it doesn't allow the friction pad to touch other surface. Now you'll lay that down, the original inside to inside, you put your friction sled on it, and there you go. Now by raising the angle and noting at what angle the sled goes downward, we can measure the friction force. So I happen to know this is very bad film, so we can raise this up a very good amount and it will stay put. Let's just show you how bad it is. So if I was just to do a rough, knowing that it's way off, that would be let's just say 25 degrees right here. So if you take your calculator and you say tangent of 25, your friction, static friction would be 0.46. So if we do the same thing with a good sleeve that I've already cut, I will lower this back down our standard is 20. So what I'm looking for, I already know that if I put this at around 12 degrees, the tangent at 12 degrees is 0.21. So I will lower my table until my meter says around 12 degrees. And I take my film and make sure the inside is to the inside. Now I'll put my sled back on it. It slides. Now if I wanted to find out where the actual breakover point is, I have to go lower. Okay. This is roughly 11 degrees. As you'll see, it doesn't slide. Now you can pick this up slowly. So you get to your degree mark. And your breakover point where it starts freely sliding again. And you take the tangent of whatever that happens to be, and that will give you your static coefficient of friction.